Welcome back. The loss of a child is heartbreaking for any parent, and unfortunately for some, that sorrow starts before a child is even born. But there's a special place in Lexington being developed to help remember the loss of an unborn child. And to tell us more about the Kentucky Memorial for the Unborn, we're pleased to welcome Kathy Rutledge, the founder of the project and also committee member Heidi Ryan. Thank you both for being with us today. Thank you. Tell us how this whole idea started. It all started when I wanted to remember a uh, baby that I lost. Um, I had had an abortion at 18, and several different times I wanted to um, do something more. Uh, I regretted, you know, the abortion, and I kept remembering over the years how old would he be, um, you know, just different things, what he would be like. And I went to a cemetery and tried to... Um, get a plot and a nameplate and um, didn't work out so well. It was something they didn't know how to handle and so I found out there were other folks, uh, women and families that wanted to do this so we just decided to do something for everyone in Kentucky. And um, this is, is quite an interesting concept because uh, uh, medically sometimes it's called fetal loss. It's um, if there's stillbirths, if there's a miscarriage. Um, any woman who's, who's lost a pregnancy at any point, this is a place for them to remember that child? Yes, we wanted to open it up to anyone who's lost an unborn baby from miscarriage, stillbirth, or abortion. I've also had a miscarriage. And, uh, you know, there's a grief that's involved that goes unrecognized by family members, often and friends. Uh, and this is something that can you can can um, have a place to go to have closure and to express the grief, but also to get healing. And Heidi, you're involved as a committee member because you, you too have experienced loss. Yes, I've experienced both um, abortion and miscarriage, and it's, it's just going to be nice to have a place to go to when I want to remember, and, when, and I think it'll be a really special place of healing that you can go, and, and it's going to be beautiful, and I think that's part of this project is going to be very beautiful there and I think that it helps with the memories and will help you heal from that. Now tell us um, how folks can get involved. Well, you can get involved in many different ways. Uh, one, we're looking for churches uh, to uh, that you have. A, there's an opportunity to be a sponsor, uh, and there's also ways to be involved in the committee. Just spreading the word throughout the churches. You can also, if anyone wants to remember a child in this way, we have a website. It's www.kymemorialfortheunborn.org, and you can go on there and let us know that you want to remember a baby in this way too. And um, again, it's it's just a way for um, families, mothers, to, to recognize that loss in a in a significant way. Yeah, um, it's just it's going to be a special place. I mean, it's it's actually going to be in a cemetery in Frankfurt. And um, we've already got the property, and um, it's we're ready to start. And we are ready to start just starting to sell the the places where you can have your inscription on the block. And um, we just need that. You know, we need people to start to come forward and be willing to share, share us with us their loss so we can build this, build this bigger and better. It's a beautiful site. It overlooks the Kentucky River and the whole state capitol uh, down below, and it's like the River Gorge type feel to it. It's just a beautiful place. Well, thank you so much for being with us and sharing your, your very personal stories and um, bringing us this information. You see the website and phone numbers there at the bottom of your screen if you're interested in getting involved or remembering your own loss. Thank you, ladies, again. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with a check of your forecast. A cold start to the Friday, but we're hoping for a warm-up this weekend. Mary Watson will have those details next.